Hey, good afternoon. I'm Cindy Herman James. I'll be going over separations. You gotta bear with me on this section because I don't work it and the POC is not here. So, as you see, this is the application for separations. It used to be through virtual, but now they're doing it in my because there's a couple of errors in virtual. So to get to the link, you'll go ahead and go to my purse and then click email us. And then you'll go. And then upon email us, you'll go ahead and pick the components that you need to go to for your separation, the type of separation, because you have your HYT, you have your voluntary separation. FYI, this is only for enlisted via my purse right now, too. Um, more instructions on how to apply, but I don't think that's updated because this one says virtual, so disregard this one. Yeah, that works too. Alrighty. So starting off, how many people are separate or has a DOS within 30 days? Any of you plan on being listing? One? Okay. Have you stopped in the office? Okay. So after this, just make sure you talk to me. All right, for our first term airmen, when you're applying for a re-enlistment, you're only eligible to re-enlist when you're a 40 or 36 months prior to your DOS, so three years, and for a six year at your five year mark. So when you're 12 months prior to your original DOS, you can re-enlist. And then that's the exact same thing for a CJR. So if you're a first time airman and you currently don't have a CJR, that's also your window where you receive a CJR. And right now they're currently automatic, but if they're not automatic, um, if you haven't received your CJR, just make sure you come to our office so we can request one from the APC. Um, second term airman is 90 days to your DOS and ETS that you're eligible to re-enlist. Um, for the ETS is when you've extended and you're entering your extension, so you can re-enlist prior to your DOS. And then for your second term airman and first term as well, if you're re-enlisting prior to your DOS, it has to be a service obligated reason. So a lot of them are assignment, supplement, um, transfer educational benefits, HYT, um, promotion, retirement, um, any TDYs and training like NCOA, ALS, free training, um, for rehab, SRP appeals, and also extension appeals, meaning that they've been denied and you plan on appealing against it. And then also for the best interest of the Air Force is another reason to do extension. Um, going back to CJRs, I already covered this, but you should have your CJR in your 12-month window. Again, just make sure you come to us if you don't have it. Um, I will tell you, if you come earlier than your 12-month window and submit it for you, if you see us, stop it and tell us to wait until you're actually in your 12-month window. And then for extensions, every time you re-enlist, every re-enlistment, you have up to 48 months to do an extension. It's has to be a service obligated reason. The only time you can do it outside of service obligated reason is best interest of the Air Force as a first term airman, very first extension. And then for a second term, when it comes to extending the exact same thing on the listing that we went to earlier, it has to be a service obligated reason altogether. And then we already went through the separation slides. Any questions? No? Already in.